Ed, well batted. What's your assessment at the end of day two? I think we're behind in the game. Um, they, they battled well. Um, we didn't bowl as well as we'd like to, especially at the start of yesterday, where we had a good, good opportunity, I think, to, to get into them. And they've played well. They've made us, you know, made us uh, work hard for our wickets. Um, obviously, got got a big score on the board. And I think we've battled well with the bat. You know, they've shown a bit of class. Adil Rashid showed what a what a fine leg spinner he is, and how handy it is having having one of them in your team. You know, we've a de developing one in Luke Wells, but you know, he's he's not quite got to, to Adil's um, quality yet. So. You know they've, they've they've come hard at us and 180 for four, so we need to get a lot more runs in the, on the board tomorrow. So um, you know there, there's, there's rumours of a bit of weather around, but we, we honest, quite honestly we need to get out there and get some points on the board and and to try and climb up that table. It's quite a slow pitch, and for that reason, is it quite difficult to bat on today? No, I wouldn't say difficult. I think uh, I think um, you know they had a bit of extra pace as well, which is quite nice actually. When the slower bowlers came on, it was quite hard to, to the time. But it's actually not the worst pitch we've played on here. I've played on much slower ones. So. You know, we played one of the old ones in, in this game rather than one of the relayed ones that we were using earlier, earlier in the season for, for obvious reasons, really. And as I said, we had a good opportunity yesterday when it was a bit damp to, to get early wickets. Um, but no, it was quite nice to bat on and once you got in. Time to return to form for yourself as well? Yeah, obviously delighted to get a few runs myself. Gutted to get out, the way, especially the way I did after getting getting to 100. But, you know, I needed some runs for sure, for sure. And hopefully that's a, a good omen for the last three and a half games. Uh, looking at the uh, bowling performance earlier, were we disappointed not to finish him off this soon? Yeah, yeah, I think we had some good performances yesterday. I think Steve McGoffin yeah, had one of his worst days as a Pazosi bowler, still went to two and a half and over as a classy, classy bowler that he is, but you know, he possibly didn't get it quite right. And, and as I said in that first session where I would ex have expected him to excel, you know, it was good conditions for him. Um, I thought Chris Jordan came back, someone who's been had a side injury, which is a really bad one for a fast bowler. I was really happy with the way he went, and he was, you know, really happy with that as well. So it's good to see him back in form and raring to go for the last three games. And Ollie Robinson bowled like he has all year. You know, he's, he's been a revelation for us. And as I all keep saying, thank God we signed him because if we hadn't, we'd be in worse trouble than than we are. So he, he was really good. And you know, the other guys, I thought Chris Little bowled a really good spell today. And um, quite honestly, I don't think we could have done much more. I think they played well. And, and as I said, our opportunities probably early yesterday and once we didn't get through them it was we were hoping for mistakes rather than anything else. Yeah you touch on CJ there it must have been a real boost to have him back in the attack. Yeah it is he makes a massive difference to us you know in all you know he's a very good slip catcher first of all and he's a fantastic bowler and he's someone who can bowl a lot of overs and gives us something different to what we already have and, and hopefully we'll see his prowess with the bat you know we saw that against Warwickshire and in that nail-biting win earlier in the season and and hopefully we see him getting a free run. So he's a, he's a three-dimensional cricketer, and he makes us a, clearly a much better, much better side with him in it. So, you know, hopefully he stays fit. Weather aside, tomorrow is that long and hard, isn't it? Yeah, that's all we can do. Bat long and hard. And Mike Yardy's played, he played really well at Lords. You know, he's unlucky in that second innings, and and he looks good again here. So, you know, it'd be great if he can finish off his career with 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 a few runs and as I said he's looking really good and Ollie Robinson has got a good opportunity as, as Night Watchman to get runs and you know he, he's, he's really hungry to do that and, you know he, he feels like he hasn't achieved what he can do with the bat and then we have um, you know we've a lot of a lot of other guys Luke Wright and Ben Brown and, and these guys still to come so we've a lot of batting still, still to come.